Right, good morning, welcome back. Okay, today I want to complete the chain drive conversion on the Sportster project. The rear sprocket's already fitted, so that just leaves me to fit the front sprocket, torque the big nut up, fit the lock plate, and then the chain. Now the chain in this situation, well, it's not a standard setup, so it's not a standard kit. Nobody knows what length the chain exactly has to be because it's a custom application. So this is an overlength chain, and all I need to do is fit it, measure it, and cut it to length, and then fit the compression link. So let's do it. Right, a couple of things to pass on, if I may. If you're gonna do this, first of all, don't cut your chain too short. That's quite obvious, really. You can't uncut a cut once it's done, that's too late. So, to make sure you know where to cut it and it's exact first time, is you need to present these inner link, the one on the end, that's an inner link. You need two of them facing each other. So set it at the right point, not one tooth out. And the other thing is, something that I think gets forgotten now and again, is obviously you want bring your axle all the way forward to give you lots of adjustment as it wears, but then don't do your chain too tight. If you pull it up too tight and cut it there, then when you drop it off the jack, don't forget that it tightens up. So leave yourself a little bit of slack for dropping it down off the lift and the weight goes on the bike and then it should tighten up to roughly the right tension and you've still got plenty of adjustment to make sure it's right. Inner to inner, correct. 